Hey guys, how's it going? Pran here. So I've been in Greece for uh, you know just under three months now, and I want to tell you guys how it's going. Uh, generally, it's going pretty well, but I want to also give you guys some details about the food. And some of you guys know I have some pretty selective eating habits, and uh, as a result, when I was in Canada, I pretty much thrived, not survived, thrived on the OJ and the falafels. And in Greece, there really aren't that many falafels. I mean, I've had falafel in Athens, and it is pretty good, at least some of it. But it's not something, uh, you know, within walking or biking distance. Uh, it's something that, you know, maybe once a week I get the treat for. And I've had to find other things, and I've had to find other sources of OJ. And as I've done the OJ video, the OJ comparison, I've told you guys about how great and you know, the glory of falafel in, in Toronto, Canada. Here it's a little bit different, and uh, I want to show you guys how I've adapted. So in the background here, I'll show you guys uh, this is not falafel, this is like a veggie patty gyro. And gyro in, in Greece, in Greek, is not pronounced gyro, it's pronounced eros, eros. And, um, you know, I've had to go out and order this stuff myself, so it helps to speak the language. And I've also used this as a medium to learn the language because the most important thing that you need to know is how to order food of course and you have to order the good kind of food so when I go to the local gyros, the gyros place I get uh, Anna, so one uh, pita, which is pita bifteki lahanikon, lahanikon I think, which is a veggie patty and then for the toppings I get a uh, uh, patates Tomata, potatoes, tomato, uh, maruli, which is lettuce, mustarda, and ketchup, which is mustard and ketchup, and kaftero uh, pipeli, which is like hot peppers, but it's it's kind of like the spice. It's basically um, uh, what's that stuff called? I don't know. The red pepper thing that looks like pepper. Yeah. Well, I suck. I, I don't remember what it is right now. But basically, you get that, and sometimes you get two, and if you're really hungry, you get two and a side order of fries, and basically eat all that shit up, and it's all pretty good, and it's all pretty amazing. If I had to compare it directly to falafel in terms of the food quality, it's about on par. But uh, the experience I enjoyed in, in Toronto was that, you know, when someone would come around, I'd go to falafel place and just eat it on the side of the road, and, you know, I'd have the noon sun just you know, melting me as I sat there. And while I haven't decided to eat outside here yet, it is an option as in Greece, in Athens, it is very hot. And I'm yet to see exactly just how hot it will be in the next few days. So maybe I'll relive the experience to its fullest. And while I was in Canada, I uh, sampled all the different orange juices. And I settled on uh, actually the Shoppers Drug Mart brand being the best, which is Simply Foods, I believe, which was really cheap. And you know, I liked it because it was the sweetest one. But you know, I talked about orange juice sponsorships and all that kind of stuff when I was in Canada. I was you know really liking the stuff. And here in Greece, at least in Athens, there are quite uh, a large variety of orange juices as well. But if I had to compare the orange juices of the Greeks to the orange juices of the Canadians, all the orange juices of the Greeks fall below the Simply Foods orange juice and the Oasis orange juice. However, the Greeks do have an orange juice brand that does actually surpass all Canadian orange juices. And it is this one right here. It is the cow. I don't exactly know what that is, but basically it's some farm thing, and uh, this stuff is really sweet, tastes really good, and the only issue is that after the first time when I uh, streamed and people saw the type of OJ I was sampling, you know, some time ago, literally the next time we went shopping to get some more of this stuff, it was pretty much sold out. There was like two or three bottles. So, you know, I don't want you guys to get too crazy, but there is some of the good stuff here. I am surviving, I am thriving, in fact, on the Greek food. And, you know, while the falafels may have to be changed on the, you know, holy book of Kriparian foods, 
into the gyros, into the gyros. All in all, I'm very happy here, and um, the food situation is pretty sweet. Hope you guys enjoy my little story, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.